Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Michael. I go by Tritonic M um, on YouTube and um, today I'm going to just do a tutorial on the song I posted um, Osumbo by Tego Sisters from Ghana and um, the way that I'm going to approach the song i uh, gonna go through several steps um, let's say three steps or four steps and I want you to understand um, at each step what I'm gonna be doing so um, just to begin with um, the first idea in how I'm approaching the song is to first uh, know the melody line of the song um, actually the progression of the song okay this the chord progression of the song is what I actually did in the video um, it's just going to be the chord progression for the beginning then you have the melody lines following so for any song you don't want to sacrifice the melody line you want to strictly be um, improvising around the melody line because the melody actually describes the song is the total description of the song so you want to make sure you don't sacrifice the melody of the song and whilst keeping the melody you make sure um, you move um, you have the major chord progression the chord up of the song is also not sacrificed um, you can you can just substitute and make some and play as from your heart down from within but then you make sure you don't sacrifice the melody of the song um, and then the main concept behind um, Osumbo um, the melody lines and the whole concept behind the song follows a pattern of repetitive diminished concepts as well as a minor chords so um, let's let's begin so I began with this an A flat suspended 4 that's how I began the song I actually began on a 3 4 actually 6 8 beat um, no it was a 3 4 bit sorry so that's how I began so this is actually um, a C sharp suspended too, but I just repeated um, the A flats um, on the left hand side and just play the bass. The bass is also going to play the same, so it becomes an A flat suspended four, right? So the four has been suspended. So we have that. So we go this way. So that's the melody. Any of them goes, okay? So my first chord after the suspended. I have an E minor sixth, a E flat minor sixth. Okay, it's actually um, just an E flat minor over this B flat. Or you have just an E flat minor, but I inverted it with beginning with a B flat. So you have that and you have the E flat on the bass. You can also play it and include in the ninth. Okay, so because I'm playing that E flat with the ninth here or with the two over here, I, I could just play um, the one over there in the left hand side. Then the next one is just a C sharp over an F, okay? This is a normal chord we play um, all the time on the three. On the three. I'm playing in C sharp, um, just, just to remind you. I play the song in C sharp. Alright, so. The next chord, which I mostly use in the song, is an F sharp minor. Okay, so instead of playing the main F sharp, I play the F sharp minor on this fourth the melody okay then the melody for the seventh is just an a flat major the melody for the one be a b flat minor seventh then i play an a flat major um, add it to or simply it's just an a flat suspended two okay okay a flat major 
the seventh and the left hand side. Okay, so let's begin again. You can end with a C sharp and major seventh. Or the added thirteenth. Okay. Um, C sharp major seventh. Actually, this chord. All right. So. So um, let's continue. Let's continue with it. So that's the melody line, okay? So fa mi re do ti la. Sometimes I'm gonna use tonic solfes because in some part of Africa, especially West Africa, um, Nigeria, Ghana, we use tonic solfes most of the time in describing some of the notes compared to the numbers, the number system that is being used um in the western world so the western world is going to be five four three two one seven six all right so how am i going to do that so the same suspended four then i still play the f sharp minor i can add the third made again f sharp minor major seventh the same c sharp um over F, the same flat minor, so that I play. And flat suspended. Okay, then you have an F sharp major added to. From a four, I go to um, the sharp four or the flat five. I play it as a tritone, um, and then you're gonna have this way. You play on the bass. It's actually an A seven. All right. So let's begin from the top again. Let's begin from the top again. So I said the song is revolving around diminished and minor chords. So that's a duet, okay? It's a similar concept.
other part. six tones from D, all right, all right, so three tones or six, seven tones, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, three tones from D, and the bass note is going to play actually a third away, which is a B flat, okay, So the, um, the second part of the song, actually following nice melody, is very interesting melody. Let's go over that part. We have an F sharp major 9 out of 13. It's actually playing an E flat sus so 2 on the right hand side. And then I double the this one. I double 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the 6 here. Okay, I'm playing in, e, I'm in C sharp or D flats. either you could play um, either we play um, this that we, we do it simple we, we keep it simple I do something on the left like this again I repeat it's either we do it simple okay then I do something like this I just walk down from the um, five to the three or that the melody lines okay so as I said we can or we could do uh, a 251 um, on F okay then it's gonna be 251 here in F but then the last 
F is going to be a minor. Of course, we are in C sharp. All right. Okay. F minus seventh. So to, to end on this F minus seven, we could use a melody line for this. Then you have the seven. So you have the sharp four. You have the seven. Let's go again. Okay. These are drop twos. So that part again, let's repeat. Sustain pedal and the flipping. All right, so again, you have this, then you have that as a two five one. Okay. So from the start. one looking
So that's um, basically the whole movement of um, the song, the whole chord of progression with the song and the melody lines. And I said, uh, this song uh, revolves around minor chords and repetitive um, diminished patterns. And in videos that I'll be posting in the future, I'm going to make sure I explain how um, we apply some of these drop twos in some songs, some of these diminished, some of these minor chords in some songs, and how to interpret some of these concepts and how to apply these concepts in some songs. And you just have to play um, like you, just just have to play down from your heart and play um, any sweat thing and then make sure you don't improvise, you don't sacrifice, sorry, the melody and make sure you, you make improvisations that actually goes with interesting concepts of the song. All right, so just to end and recap, again for the last time, we go. Thank you for joining me and I um, hope to meet you in other videos and I hope you subscribe um, and you've learned quite some interesting concepts and ideas over here. Subscribe and share and I'll be posting more videos in the future um, so that we all learn from each other. Thank you.